Hello and welcome back. So today in this tutorial we'll be looking at another question based on conditional trigonometric identity. So here we are given a condition that the sum of three angles A, B, C is equal to pi radian and what we have to show is that this left hand side of our equation um, should equal to our right hand side. So for proving this we have to start from our given condition so this is our given condition now we can just make a simple rearrangement by subtracting c on both side of this equation so this results a plus c equals to pi radian minus c now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna first operate this equation first by sine and then by cos but before that let me divide both this side by 2 so the more simplified form will be a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to pi radian by 2 minus c by 2 I've just distributed the denominator c to both the expression and the numerator so on operating by sine what we have is sine a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to sine pi radian by 2 minus c by 2 so here pi radian by 2 is nothing but simply 90 degrees so we know that sine 90 degree minus theta so if we have the expression in this form sine 90 degree sorry sine 90 degree minus theta so this simply implies it is equal to cos theta so here in place of theta we have c by 2 so we can simply write cos c by 2 and on operating by cos we have cos a plus b by 2 equals to cos pi radian by 2 minus c by 2 so once again cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta so in place of theta we have c by 2 so we can simply replace cos 90 minus c by 2 by sine c by 2 now this is what we have proved just right now from this given condition now I'm going to take the left hand side of this equation so here is my left side left hand side of the equation now I'm gonna use the formula for we have the formula that cos 2a is equal to 2 cos squared a minus 1 so if we are talking about solve angle then we have cos a equals to 2 cos squared a by 2 minus 1 and now I need the value for cos squared a so I'm gonna take 1 to the other side so this gives cos a plus 1 equals 2 cos squared a by 2 now I'm dividing both sides by 2 what we have is cos squared a by 2 is equal to cos a plus 1 and then divided by 2 but we have here minus cos squared a by 2 now let me replace the value I have here minus and then cos squared a by 2 is simply cos a plus 1 divided by 2 plus we can do the same for cos squared b by 2 so we have cos b plus 1 by 2 same for cos c by 2 cos c plus 1 by 2 now let me distribute the negative sign for both the expression inside the parenthesis so I have minus cos a and then minus 1 divided by 2 plus cos b plus 1 by 2 plus cos c plus 1 by 2 now I'm going to take the lowest common multiple here I have 2 and I can simply combine the numerator so minus cos a minus 1 plus cos b plus 1 plus cos c plus 1 and I can get rid of negative and positive 1 so that what I have is now I'm going to take 1 by 2 at the front and inside the parenthesis I have negative of cos A cos B cos C so plus cos B plus cos C plus 1 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the formula I'm going to use the formula for cos B plus cos C so so we have the formula for cos c plus cos d which is 2 cos c plus d by 2 times cos c minus d by 2 but in place of c and d we have b, b and c so I'm gonna write here 2 cos 
b plus c by 2 dot cos b minus c by 2 and then plus 1 now I'm going to replace this value right here cos b plus c by 2 by sine a by 2 a, the same analogy as this equation uh, we have we have here a plus b by 2 and then here we have sine c by 2 but in here we have b plus c by 2 so here I have written sine a by 2 I hope you understand this so what I have is 1 by 2 and then minus cos a plus 2 so for this cos b plus c by 2 I'm going to write sign a by 2 dot cos b minus c by 2 and then plus 1 since we have here sine a by 2 I'm going, going to change cos a in terms of sine a by 2 we know that cos a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a by 2 so I'm going to use the same formula here so this gives me minus 1 minus 2 sine squared a by 2 plus the remaining term I'm going to write it as it is now I'm going to distribute this negative sign so I have minus 1 plus 2 sine squared a by 2 plus 2 sine a by 2 dot cos b minus c by 2 plus 1 and I can get rid of negative and positive 1 after that I have this term right here now I'm going to take 2 sine a by 2 common and I have sine a by 2 plus here I have cos b minus c by 2 once again what I can do here is what I can do here is I can write sine a by 2 as cos b plus c by 2 the same analogy as here plus cos b minus c by 2 once again 1 by 2 into I have here 2 dot sine a by 2 and then for this term inside the parenthesis consider that it is in the form cos c plus cos d so once again we are going to apply this formula cos c plus cos d which gives 2 cos c plus d by 2 means c plus d divided by 2 and then cos c minus d divided by 2 c is b plus c by 2 minus b minus c by 2 and then divided by 2 now I can get rid of these two so I have sine a by 2 here once again I have 2 and now just a simple simplification here I have b plus c plus b minus c divided by 2 so this 2 also I can multiply over here similarly cos b plus c I'm going to distribute this negative sign so minus b plus c divided by 2 into 2 finally I can cancel positive and negative c negative and positive b and then I have sign a by 2 times 2 dot cos b plus b is 2b so I can get rid of 1 2 and 2 over here so I have b by 2 so c plus c is 2c I can get rid of 2 and 1 2 over here and I have cos c by 2 so after rearrangement of this equation we have this so it is our right hand side this is what we have to do in this question I hope it is clear to you and thanks for watching